everyone. I'm Marguerite Carl, the Artistic Director of the Swedish American Children's Choir, and we've been performing at Swedish Days in Geneva for nearly 20 years on the main stage and celebrating Midsummer with all of you. This year obviously is a little bit different, and although we can't all be together on the Third Street stage with all of you, we certainly can teach you a few dances so you can celebrate Midsummer at home. The first dance that I'm going to teach you is one done by young and old alike in Sweden. And it's done as a circle, and it's one of the most well-known dances that they do at midsummer time. It's called Små Gruderna, which means the small frogs. If you want music for this song, you can go on YouTube and look up this name, Små Gruderna. You can even leave the accent marks out and it'll come up on YouTube so that you have music to dance by at your home. Today we're going to demonstrate, and I have two very capable helpers with me today. I have my daughter Christina and my grandson Landon. Obviously we're not dressed in regular American clothes, we're dressed in Swedish costumes from different provinces in Sweden. And at this time, at Midsummer in Sweden, many people, young and old alike, have these costumes that they wear to dance around at Midsummer time. Our first dance is the Ready. small frog dance. Now in the frog dance, it's in two parts. Part number one is just walking in a circle. So it can be done by even as few as two people, especially if you're doing it at home. Or you can do it in a double circle depending on your group. And I guess we're all allowed to have groups of 10 or less. So you can decide which kind of circle you want. After you walk around in the circle, we get to the part where it says koo ak ak ak. And that's a Swedish version of ribbit for the frogs. And that's when everyone hops like a frog. We did this last year on the main street in Geneva, on 3rd Street in front of the stage, and we had young and old alike doing it. It was really a lot of fun. So we're going to demonstrate, Christina and her son Landon are going to demonstrate Small Gruder Nut, the small frog dance, and all of you then can do it at home. Christina and Landon, please. Walking. And walking. And then show you they don't have ears. They don't have tails. They don't have ears. They don't have tails, but they go hop, hop, hop. demonstrated Smoke Gruderna, and he's about over six feet tall. That was a very interesting frog dance that he did. The next dance that I'm going to teach you is called the Erinusi Counter. We are musicians. Again, you can do it in a single circle, especially as we have smaller groups now at home. And it's in two parts. The first part, you walk around in a circle holding hands. When you get to the part where they say, we can spiel a fioli oli, that means we can play the violin, we can play the bass violin, and the flute. And then it says, we can dance, we can dance. And that's when you skip around holding hands in the circle. Second time through the song, you just reverse the circle and go counterclockwise. Again, a very simple dance all of you can use for celebrations of Swedish Midsummer in Geneva, Illinois. So I'm going to ask Christina and Landon that I'm going to join them. You can look on YouTube for this title, Vi Eru Lucy Cantor. You can, again, leave out the accent mark. On YouTube, you can get the music. Here's Vi Eru Lucy Cantor. Then we play the violin. That's it. Bass violin, flute, and then we dance. And then we dance. Back to play the violin. On 
behalf of the Swedish American Children's oh, Choir and all of their families and singers, we wish all of you a very happy midsummer. Glad midsummer. And although we can't all be together, I know next year in 2021 we're going to have huge midsummer celebrations as a result of all of this. Remember, although we can't be together, we are together in heart. And so, from all of us, and from my family, to all of you, a very glad midsummer. Tak <laughs> Happy midsummer. Stay safe and healthy.